Alright, are you ready for round four? Let's play some Belgian metal. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper and this is the fourth video in my countdown of the Belgian heavy metal alphabet. Today we're going to focus on bands whose names start with an F, a G, an H, an I, and we're going to start with a J. So for starters, I'm going to cheat because I don't really have a favorite heavy metal band whose name starts with a J. There are very few metal bands in Belgium whose names start with a J. I did some digging and really the only metal Belgium band whose name starts with a J that I could find was Josiah, which is a Christian heavy metal band from the late 80s, early 90s, only released a few demos. One song that I would recommend you checking out is the song Where Is Your Love from their first demo. Belgian Christian metal. Who would have thought? I thought that was really an American thing. Oh well, that's not true. Narnia, Scandinavian Christian band. So I guess they're all over the world, but I never really heard of this band before until I did some research for this video. But it's a pretty cool song. It has a cool spacey intro that reminds you a little bit of Uli John Roth and, you know, more modern, maybe some Unleash the Archers intros. I only know the one song, so calling them my favorite metal band with the letter J would be a stretch. So I'm gonna cheat. There's actually a band that is not metal whatsoever, but they are a punk rock band that I just liked a lot. So I figured, you know what? Let's include them in this video. This band is called Jane's Dead. So Jane's Dead is likely the most successful skate punk band from the late 90s, early 2000s. The band brings this mix of a Blink-182 goofiness with the seriousness of a Rise Against. My favorite album is likely their third self-titled album. That's the album that I really got to discover this band. But for this list, I chose their fourth album, which was their breakthrough album to the broader mainstream called Anti Anthems. All right, so let's move on to the letter I. Well, there's a lot more bands whose names start with an I in Belgium than J. So, hey, I got lots of choice. So let's start with a pretty original band. This band is called Ephilion. Interesting mix of folk metal with metalcore and it's just something you don't see too often. They include a bunch of traditional instruments like a lot of folk bands would do, which is great, but usually you see these folk metal influences more with power metal bands or melodic death metal bands or black metal pagan bands, but it's kind of cool to see a metalcore band do this mix. But I would recommend you check out their latest album, which is from 2017 called Shaping the Soul, and I would highly recommend the song Blindfolded. Yeah, Okay, so let's go back to my teenage years. In previous videos, I already talked about being more involved with the local Antwerp hardcore scene. Nevertheless, there was a band in that time in the city that was not a hardcore band, but that everybody kind of knew and a lot of the bands wanted to be their opening act. And this was a melodic death metal band called Inquest. <laughs> Inquest released a bunch of CDs, but if you want to explore this band, I would highly recommend the 2013 compilation Chronicle and specifically one of their biggest hits called Stalma. Okay, let's go even further back in time. Let's go all the way to the early 70s. Belgium had a true pioneer of blues rock. You'll definitely hear some deep purple influences there. This band is called Irish Coffee and this band had a lot of great songs, but if I would have to pick my favorite song, it is going to be the song which is aptly called Masterpiece. Alright, so let's go all the way back to the present with a brand new project, at least I think it is a brand new project, and this band is called Instriumai, and they bring instrumental hard rock with classical influences because one of the three musicians in this band is actually a violin player. I've only heard one song of this band so far, but I really kind of like it, and this song is called Spes Bona. <laughs> So 
lots of good bands with the letter I, but one has to be my favorite. It is the best neoclassical power metal band from Belgium. This band is called Iron Mask. So Iron Mask is definitely the band around, you know, guitar virtuoso Duchamp Petrosi. He's kind of like the Belgian Ingwe Malmsteen. He even looks like him. This band has released a number of good albums, but my favorite album is, and I think it's their classic album, their second album called Hordes of the Brave. And my absolute favorite song on that album is called Holy War. All right, we're gonna move on to the letter H and there are again, a lot of great bands. And what's really cool for me is as I've been making these videos, I've started to uncover bands that I actually never heard of before. And there's a lot of good new bands with the letter H that I just recently discovered. I'm thinking about bands like Hope Erodes. I'm thinking about Her Fault. I'm thinking about Hedifs. But then there are just five bands that for me really are my favorite bands that start with the letter H. And the first band is called Hoodich. <laughs> So Hudic, and I do hope that I pronounce it correctly, is, if I'm not mistaken, a Slovenian way of saying the devil. This band really blew me away. This is another example of a band that I've only recently discovered, and they play some sort of melodic, blackened death, black death metal. And I thought that their 2019 EP was very impressive. And my favorite track on that EP is called Fall of the Morning Star. So from a very new band, let's go back in history to the 80s to a pretty cool band called Hands of Mercy. I would say that this band plays a Dio style, hard rock, heavy metal, and I don't necessarily mean the vocals. I mean, who could replace Ronnie James Dio? But very much from a musical perspective and how the songs are written. This band released a couple of demos and only one EP, which is absolutely a collector's item of Belgian heavy metal. On that EP, you're gonna find a really cool song called Lonely in the Night. <laughs> All right, let's shift some gears and go into a completely different kind of music. Let's go into post-drone doom metal. This is an amazing instrumental band. Check them out. They're called Hemelbestormer, which basically means he who attacks heaven. This is just music you can get lost in. As it is common in Drone Doom, these songs are quite long. This is music that I'm not always in the mood for, but there's plenty of times that I just want to disconnect from the world and just get lost in this soundscape. And Hamel Bestormer does a great job at that. If you like this cool mix of post metal and Drone Doom, I would highly recommend their latest album, and specifically the song 8 Billion Stars. Okay, in every video in this series, we've had at least one member of the Church of Ra. So for those of you watching for the first time, the Church of Ra is an art music collective, which is very much focused around the band Amon Ra and all their friends. And the next band is another member of this collective. This band is called Hessian and they bring a really cool mix of sludge and hardcore. It was their 2012 split album together with Pale Creation that really put Hessian on the map, particularly their song Sans Foi. So, okay, so we have a lot of great bands whose names start with the letter H. Who is my favorite band? Well, this I'm gonna pick a newer band, a band that I expect will become quite big in the Belgian scene. This is the melodic death metal band called Hexamera. No need for confirmation to shine your world around. 
Hexamer is definitely one of the rising stars of Belgian heavy metal. They've released a couple of strong albums already, they've played grass pop. And what was really cool in the song that I chose, which is a song Union, they actually invited 14 different singers from the Belgian metal scene, which, you know, which is just an amazing concept. I very much appreciate it when other bands are proactively supporting each other. In my channel, I try to promote some Belgian metal and I very much appreciate that Hexamera does the same. All right, moving on to the letter G. Again, I'm gonna start with a band that I've only recently discovered and this band is called Guilty as Charged. It feels like they've put some Anthrax, some Annihilator and Pretty Maids in the mix and it just works. I really like this album and as far as I know it is just one album that this band has released in 2014 which is called Leap of Faith. So hey guys I want more music. Alright, so do you know that feeling when you stumble upon a band, somebody told you about a great band, whatever, you saw a cool video and you do some research and it turns out the band already split up. You're never gonna see this band, there's never gonna be new music in the future. That is a pretty crappy feeling. Well, that's the feeling that I got when I discovered Garof, which is this you know, slightly progressive black metal band which is perfect for fans of Emperor or Imperium Decadence. I would highly recommend you check out their album Apocalypsis and in particular the song Millennium. Alright, again moving to something completely different. There's this really cool band. I don't know if they still exist, but this is a band that plays a really cool melodic post sludge. I don't know. I'm making up these genres as I go along, but that's kind of what I think describes what they sound like. This band is called Grizzlincher and they released first an EP, then an album in 2014, which was phenomenal. And there were some high expectations. I don't know what happened after. I don't think this band has released anything and that's a shame. Anyways, you definitely want to check out the song Off the Moon, I Fell. My All right, the letter G stays pretty eclectic. For my fourth pick, I'm going with Galch in Vurdot, which means Gallows and Death by Fire. This is a band that plays a folky black and thrash, or is it a thrashy black pagan? I don't know. But anyways, it's a pretty cool band and they've not really broken through just yet. They've had a few demos and one EP. They tend to sing about folk tales of Belgium, uh, mostly focused on the buck riders or goat riders horde, the Bokkenwerders, which were gangs in the 18th century that terrorized the countryside and who were quickly turned into folk and legendary tales. They put out a pretty cool EP called Roos van Geweld, which basically means being in a daze of violence. And the title track of that song is definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Alright, my top pick for the letter G, unfortunately a band that doesn't exist anymore. Quite a short-lived project, to be honest, only a few years. But a really cool symphonic metal band, this band is called Gwillian. This band only released two albums, but I think both of them were pretty good. I would recommend you check out their second album from 2009, which was called The Edge of All I Know. My favorite song on that album was The Night Awakes. All right, it's time for the final letter of this video, the letter F. Again, I'm gonna cheat. Why? Are there not enough bands whose names start with letter F? Absolutely, there's actually quite a bit. But you know what? I feel like a party, and when I feel like a party, I put on funeral dress with party on. So funeral dress is probably Belgium's best known oi punk bands, street punk, and they're definitely not necessarily metal, although I tried to capture all kinds of hard rock in these videos. But you know what? This is my video. 
I made the rules. So when I want to play some funeral dress, I'm gonna play some funeral dress. All right, let's go back to metal. Earlier in this video, we had Iron Mask, which is probably Belgium's best neoclassical power metal band. Now it's time for maybe the country's best power metal band. This is a band called Fire Force. <laughs> So Fire Force has been around for a number of years, but really the roots of this band trace back quite a bit in history. A lot of the members of Fire Force, whether or not they are still in the band today, can be traced back to the Antwerp band Double Diamond. Anyway, Fire Force is definitely one of the prime metal bands of Belgium these days. They've released a couple of great albums, but I would highly recommend their latest EP. And they re-recorded a previous song for this EP called Defector that you should definitely check out. All right, let's go from power metal to modern mainstream metal. Another rising star in the Belgian heavy scene is the band called Fields of Troy, who play this modern US metal. They would make a great opener for bands like Five Finger Death Punch. This is definitely a band that has hit potential Check out their 2018 album, The Great Perseverance, and in particular, the song, Dethrone. Time to go back to the 80s. Before we get to my favorite pick of the letter F, we have to talk about one of the Belgian heavy metal icons called FN Guns who are similar to a picture out of the Netherlands in the 80s. This band released a number of albums throughout the years, but I would argue that the classic is the album Nightmare. And on that album, you'll find their anthem called No God, No Master. Alright, so we come to my top pick for the letter F, and this is a band that had to grow on me. They definitely bring a lot of humor in their songs, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. But I wasn't sure when this band started if I was gonna take them seriously. But luckily, I quickly turned around. This band sings in Dutch, and the lyrics are always hilarious. However, when I introduce this band to people that don't speak the language, a lot of them really like this crossover thrash that this band plays. Fans of Belgian metal obviously already know that I'm talking about Fleddy Mulkily. I mean, with a name like that, how do you expect people will take you seriously? But hey, people do. Although everybody will still agree, this is just a fun band. Their breakthrough song is a song that I picked as my favorite song of this band. This song is called T-Shirt of Metallica. <laughs> So for those of you who don't speak Dutch, this song is about the fact that nowadays everybody and anybody can just walk into an H&M store and can buy a t-shirt from a rock or metal band and just walk around wearing these shirts without even knowing who these bands are, what their music is. It's debatable how serious we have to take the whole thing, but it is just so much fun. I would say that Fleddy Mulkily is for Belgian metal today what a Belgian asociality was for the heavy underground in the 90s. All right, so those were my picks for best Belgian metal bands whose names start with F, G, H, I, or J. Did I miss out any bands that you wanted to hear? Well, let me know in the comments and I will see you soon for the final installment of this series of the Belgian heavy metal alphabet. Hey, thank you for watching this video on Belgian heavy metal. Click right here to see more content like this and subscribe to the channel.